and welcome to Bible Bites. In around the late 17th century, 18th century, there was this idea called deism. Now deism is the idea that God is there, uh, he made the world, he created the world, and then it's like he had something better to do and he kind of went, well, I made the world, up to you, I'll let you go. And some people describe it as the God of the, the clock, uh, or the, he's the, the God who is the clock maker. That is, he winds the clock up, which is creation, and then lets it go and goes, well, you guys sort that out. And I think a lot of people, we, we tend to feel like that's what God does, that he's not really active in the world. He's, he's made the world, sure, but that seems to be it. But actually, that's not entirely true. In fact, it's not true at all. Let's have a look at uh, what Colossians chapter 1 verse 17 has to say. Uh, he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. That is, in him all things hold together. He sustains everything. So it's not just that God creates the world, and in this case, we're talking about Jesus. It's not just that he creates things and goes, well, good luck with that, but he sustains things. He sustains every molecule that is in your body right now. He holds all of it together. There is, there is no moment in time that you are not reliant on his will to exist. That is huge. I mean, isn't that incredible? Doesn't that make God worthy of worship? Doesn't that make Jesus incredible? That the one who died for us is the one who not just created us, but he sustains us as well. That is incredible. This is no God of the, the watchmaker who just winds up the clock and goes, yep, good luck. No, no, he, he knows everything about you and he sustains everything about you. Now, I realize that some of you may be going through a hard time. You go, well, how does that all work? I want you to know, I don't have the answers for you, but I do want you to know this, that the same God who created you and the same God who sent his son to die for you and that son who died for you sustains every second of your day and sustains your life for every second of that day. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that wonderful? Doesn't that make God worthy of our worship? In fact, I want you to take some time right now uh, when this comes off to go and worship Jesus for sustaining you, for holding everything together. Mm -hmm.